Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about some of the new features in Sketch 3.4. Now, these things aren't going to be groundbreaking, but they will be nice things that add on to your experience that's already great in using Sketch. So let's check them out right now. So very recently, at the end of October, Bohemian Coding released an update to Sketch that has fixed a bunch of little minor issues and added some nice little features that really come in handy in a lot of situations. And there are things that maybe aren't game-changing for Sketch, however, they're certainly adding to its impressive set of features and usability options. So I thought I would take this video to talk about some of the improvements that came along in Sketch version 3.4. Now there's an additional update sketch.3.4.2 that's finding its way into the uh, App Store right now. So you should be able to see those updates as well, but they're mostly just bug fixes, performance fixes, some additional iOS uh, templates, and some very minor things like preset updates and stuff like that. So we're not gonna talk too much about 3.4.2, just know that it's there and it's coming as well. 3.4 is where a lot of the features came in. Now one of these features, which is going to be, now that you can preview designs in your web browser on uh, basically any device, so it's not just iOS mirroring at this point, you can actually browse to that design at a URL on your Android device and see your designs on an actual device as well. So that feature is going to get a video of its own, just so you can see that in action on a real phone. Now, other than that, we now have the option to actually browse a plugin directory. We come to manage plugins and we can now get git plugins and it's going to take you to a downloadable plugins repository on sketchapp.com. Now, the great thing about this is that this is an official like filtering. We can really look for things easily here. We can say palette, um, palettes, and it's really super fast. Now, this is still new. I'm noticing some weird CSS stuff in here. So uh, obviously this is going to be getting better and better. When you click the download button, it takes you to that given packages GitHub page where you're going to download it. And then from there, you can then click the show plugins folder and drag it into the plugins folder yourself. So this by no means takes over the functionality of the sketch toolbox, which we know and love. Uh, so you might be continuing to use that, but it is a step in the right direction for plugins within sketch. In addition to that, there's some great new pasting that when we now paste something into an artboard, uh, it's going to be pasting where you're expecting, which is a topic that we've actually talked about in some of our package videos. Let's see if I can actually get some functionality going here. Uh, really, we copy this, paste into this artboard, it pastes where you'd think it would be. Nothing too fancy, but we now no longer have to use a plugin to get the pasting features that we would want within Sketch. Another feature that I really like that's new is the disabling of autosave. Now, if you've ever seen a file size get gigantic uh, because the files are constantly autosaving with these revisions, you can now uncheck autosave in general preferences so that the files are only saved when you told them to. I know that sometimes I get in to make a one-time change to a file to export and then when I accidentally click out of the app without undoing my changes and it saves that, uh, then disabling the undo functionality, I'm occasionally uh, not super excited. So uh, being able to turn off autosave is a nice feature that I'm going to be using personally, but of course if it doesn't fit your workflow there's no reason to uncheck this box. In addition to that, there's some new artboard presets for Android users, which is really great as an Android user myself there's now things like Android icons where you have the 512 by 512 and they're labeled how you would expect for those Android developers out there I'm really happy to see uh, bohemian coding embracing Android and not just sort of sticking to their iOS only because this is an OS X app that doesn't mean they should only have templates for iOS devices when Android is so popular as well so that's exciting for me, just to see more Android things coming into Sketch. They've also made significant improvements in Boolean operations for combining shapes. Basically, it's going to just be a bit faster and more accurate for combining shapes, which we have the union subtract, 
subtract, intersect, and difference tools up here. You can also create a quick mask for a bitmap just by selecting the mask icon up here. Let's actually drop something into the canvas here and see this in action. I have this glitched photo here. It's a bitmap. I'm going to select it. I can now select this mask right here. And as you can see, it's quickly created a folder. Here's the image itself. Here is the mask that it's created, and then we can then modify this mask like so. So that's just a quick tool now to get a mask going. We don't have to create two separate layers and then tell one of them to be a mask. And now we can also even right click on this image here and select replace image to replace the image in the mask itself. So just some nice little things. Like I said, these features aren't groundbreaking, but they're just some nice little things that uh, definitely make working in Sketch a little bit better. Now here's one I really like. Uh, in addition to lock layers in the past, you would have to right click lock layer. Now it's as simple as holding down the option key when you're hovering over the eyeball and you can see that we can now lock a layer just simply by holding down the option key. Uh, this is a small small change but it's certainly one that I'm going to be using a lot. In fact uh, I've already used it once or twice today already. In addition zooming has also seen a bunch of changes under the hood to make it more fast and effective especially consecutive zooms so that's nice. And we can now drag SVGs directly onto the canvas from your browser which is actually something I'm going to be using all the time. Uh, I make a lot of my thumbnails for these videos in Sketch and I'm constantly grabbing SVG logos of different technologies. So for me, uh, just saving that time to just drag the SVG directly from the browser onto the canvas is going to be a nice feature. Now we can also modify layouts or grids for multiple artboards at the same time. Let's say this artboard has a grid and this artboard has a grid as well. We can also tell it to select this one over here and this one has a grid as well uh, we can now select both of these and say let's change uh, let's either show the layout or just show the grid or we could come in and do grid settings and do something like let's make a red grid okay so as you can see, uh, we've now modified those grid settings together. So that's a nice time saver as well. In addition, when pixel fitting is now turned off, uh, the layers will no longer move by one pixel increments. And when pixel fitting is on, your layers will always move by one pixel increments which is uh, a nice little thing. It's just getting things more exact. Like I said, all of these features are just nice little additions to Sketch, and it's great to see it improving at such a steady rate that make it more and more of a complete replacement for your old tools. So like I said, in the next video, we're gonna talk about how to get your designs mirroring onto your browser so that you can view your designs in a browser window and see them on a mobile device exactly, just so you can get a feel for the fitting and size and stuff like that. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. If you want to help support Level Up Tutorials, check out store.leveluptutorials.com. There's downloadable series, there's t-shirts, there's stickers, and soon there's going to be lots of premium content available for purchase as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.